Okay, I'm out here in my messy garage. I'm going to start some seeds for this year. It's early March, so it's a little kind of early, but at the same time, I like getting a head start on things. But I can't actually start anything for my survival garden outside or anywhere close to it because I've got another probably month to a month and a half before we get our final freeze for the year. I'm up here in northern Utah where we get freezes pretty late. Last year we had a snowstorm on May 31st here. But I firmly believe that everybody should learn how to garden. Doesn't matter where you live. Uh, it doesn't matter what your political affiliation is, what you think you should be doing, start a garden. You can do it in a window box if need be. These right here will be planted into pots that I can grow um, out on a patio or whatever. Uh, and what I'm growing right here is a uh, small tomato, like a uh, cherry tomato or grape tomato. This is actually called a yellow pear. It is a heirloom tomato which means you can save the seeds out of these for next year and use them again. And if I actually do it right, don't grow these too close to any other tomato plants that are whether they're hybrids or whatever, I will never run out of seeds. Which is nice to think about. But I would recommend everybody start a garden. It's it and do it now because there's no point in waiting around to, to start something. Oh, I'd like to do that someday. Well, you know what? Just do it now because the simple fact of the matter is you don't know what's going to happen in the future. And it can very well take you a few years to really get proficient at knowing exactly what you're doing. I know it took me a few years to realize exactly what I was doing. Uh, first year, well, I planted too many tomato seeds. Had a pot, it said, put the tomato seeds in it. So I did, and had tons. All of which I killed off, except for just a couple. Right here, I'm just doing, uh, well, looks like I'm gonna end up doing three seeds per cell. And that's ideally what you want. With some seeds, I've got some that are heirlooms, or that are hybrids, sorry, that are fairly expensive, so I'm only doing one seed per cell. Uh, some of my jalapenos and everything, I'm only doing one seed per cell. Just because the seeds are more expensive. If you have a uh, nice heirloom plant, there's no reason that... You shouldn't have plenty of seeds here. Um, but to start your seeds, you know, that's the most important thing right here, especially this time of year, where I'm not even using my greenhouse yet. I'm using my basement, which I will show you in just uh, right after this part. But I don't know why I did that. I got so now you cover my seeds here. But I try to start my seeds early, that way I will know what I've got, you know, what germinated, what didn't. Last year, I ended up uh, trying to start some seeds too late and they just didn't germinate. I don't really know why they didn't germinate, it was later in the year that I would normally start seeds, but I bought very few plants last year. You know, of course you can always go skip this step, wait a couple of months, go up to Walmart, and they'll have your uh, plants for you. But the difference is, I've got three seeds in each of these six cells, a ton of seeds left, and this cost one dollar. These are heirlooms, which means if I plant them away from other 
tomato plants, I can take the seeds out. I'll have an endless supply of seeds. I'll never have to buy seeds again. That's the whole point. Especially if, well, a lot of people think that the world's going to collapse in on itself here soon. And you know, if that does happen, well, I'll have seeds. I've got my food storage downstairs. My wife and I learned how to can uh, a few years ago. Um, now she has people that want to buy her cucumbers. She does them so well. But that simple. Get yourself some six packs like this. Or nine packs. Um, I don't have uh, they're over there. I don't have any within reach. I would go grab them, but I'd probably trip and break my neck on the way there. My garage has a rack. Get yourself some uh Jiffy seed starting solution. Seed, seed starting mix, which is this stuff right here. And this stuff is good. You just fill your six packs with it. I am I'm done using what they have pictured on here, the peat pots. I don't like them. I've used them every year up until now. You got the peat pellets as well that I will not be using anymore. Which they come packaged like this right here. This is, these are tomato ones. These are big. I've had these for a long time. I won't use them anymore. I'm just I'm tired of trying to use things like that. Now I'm just using these. I can use them again next year. This little six pack right here. There's six cells in it. And each one of them will have one tomato plant. I don't I'm the only one in my house that likes just eating raw tomatoes, so I don't need any more than this one six-pack. So, and I will probably, in all actuality, end up using maybe two plants out of this. As long as I get, if all six of them germinate, I'll probably end up using two and giving four away. Because my neighbors, they can use them too. And that's part of being a prepper, you know, especially when you're a prepper on a budget, like I am. I am on a shoestring budget, the, uh, I'm just as much a victim as anybody else is in this economy, but I'm trying not to play the victim card. Uh, I can't find a decent job, and that's just how it is. But I'll show you uh, how we actually start seeds, that is downstairs. Okay, I've moved downstairs in my house, and this is where I'm actually starting my seeds at. You can see what I've got going on here. This is a nice little setup. This tray right here has a hot heating pad under it. As you can kind of see. I don't have any lights on the grow lights on in this room right now. But it keeps everything warmer than it would be just sitting out in the room. And you typically have a cover on it, but since things have started germinating, I don't need to. Now, I have seeds in here, like the oregano, the sweet basil. They say that they, the package says it's going to take 8 to 10 days to germinate. They germinated in 3 days by having it down here in the basement under this grow light Got two grow lights here and having on this heating pad so they germinate very quickly which needs a little more water put in it but these are my three tomatoes here which I'll need to make a marker for them put what date on it and everything it was of course I got the habaneros going and I got the Caribbean Reds going over there, which is another type of habanero pepper. But it's seed starting. Just and to do it, just go out and get yourself one of these right here. And it comes with a bunch of nine packs. These are six, but they're nines. I'll show you those in a second. And it's got a little heating pad that this sits on. And it keeps it real nice and real nice and warm. If 
few degrees above what the room is, and the room's, you know, in the low 70s. Although, actually, the basement here, now I've got a new heater in this house, just put it in uh, a couple weeks ago, it actually stays extremely warm in the basement to the point we've had to close some of the vents down here. But get one of those, get a bag of uh, Jiffy uh, seed starting solution, start some seeds. It's not tough to find a place to put them either. I've got some five gallon buckets that I use. You know, you can easily put a pepper plant in a five gallon bucket and all these habaneros will probably go into five gallon buckets again this year. If I got an old wa kids waiting pool downstairs, outside that we use. Now this is another setup that this is for when the plants get a little bit older. Again, I've got two uh, two grow lights. I don't know how well the iPad can see them. It's just two fluorescent grow lights on this structure that's down here in the office in my basement. It's just a spare bedroom that we're using. But last year I used my garage. Actually had a plastic cover on this thing, and it was nice because I just kept a 100-watt uh, bulb burning in the bottom down here all day and night, and it kept it warm enough to do, to grow, to start seeds and to get them growing. But these are a lot of pepper plants I've got. i got jalapenos and poblanos in here. But, you know, the point of... Some of these cells got two seeds, but most of them only had one. And as you can see, some of them just didn't want to grow. But that's not a big deal. I've got plenty of uh, jalapenos and poblanos, it looks like, for the season. There's another jalapeno that's just coming up there. But I'll be trimming down the second uh, plants in these. And real soon here I'll need to transplant them into a little bit bigger container. And I'll have to do it a few times before May two months from now to get them going nice and strong ready to throw out in the garden as soon as the uh, soil out there is good enough but living here in northern Utah it is tough to do because we do have a shorter growing season you th and as soon as you think that you can start planting you can't you know, I've seen it two years in a row now I've only lived here for three but Two years in a row now, as soon as we thought we could start throwing plants out in the garden, we got another storm. And I've actually had some plants get destroyed by it, as have a lot of farmers in this area. So, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, let me know.